Okay, so it's our new episode of Idea Investor Doctor Academy Weekly Futures Review. So we will di discuss the futures market performance for the last week, 3rd of June to 7th of June. And also we will discuss how we're going to trade for next week, 10th of June to 14th of June. Okay, so today a bit special because supposedly we do this review on Sunday, but Sunday I occupy, so I do it one day earlier. Alright, so before we begin, uh, I need to reintroduce our three activities again. Okay, one is our FCPO one day course. So if you want to become an FCPO day trader and if you want to trade FCPO but don't know how to start and don't know what to watch out, so we will reveal our FCPO trading secret. Okay, so this one day course will be on 23rd of June in our Idea Center in Shalam. Okay, and then the next one will be coming on next week, our English free seminar. Just use three indicators and then you will able to find out bull and bear market. You will be able to differentiate these two markets. And also our Mandarin section will be on 28th of, of July. Okay, same in our Idea Center in Shalam. So if you wonder, if you want to trade Busa futures, local futures, FQI and FCPO, but you're unable to attend our course, okay? So this have we have we, you now have a chance to learn it daily by joining our private group. So in this private group, we will share live trading signals, we will share live market updates, and also we will provide uh, coaching inside the group, and also you have you will have a chance to interact with other traders to learn more about how to trade FKI and FCPO. So if you're interested in these three activities, feel free to contact 011-5353-7589 to know more details. Okay, so below this YouTube video, we actually include our free channel link. So this, all of these channels are free. Okay, so just feel free to join, like and share to know more, to let more people know about our futures. Uh, communication platform. So in our channels, you are able to get the uh, market updates and our future trading idea. Okay. <clears throat> if you got any problem or have any inquiries, please feel, feel free to comment to PM or contact by our phone number 011-5353-7589. So we look into the Malaysia market first for the last week. The vertical line here is stand for last Monday. So Due to Hari Raya, Malaysia only got three trading days. So we can see here not much movement for both FKI and FCPO. Okay, but FKI was slightly higher. Okay, thanks to the foreign market recovery. So now it's testing the 50% of FIBO retracement level. So watch out 50% to 61.8 FIBO level. Okay, which is around 1650 to 1670. Okay, so daily chart is testing rebound above 1653. I will go for buy. If we look at the shorter 10 trend chart, okay, RSI and MACD actually declining. Okay, uh, the trend is in a sideways to higher trend. So, still the same above 1653. I will go for buy, but break below 1636 expected to uh, enter a technical correction. So, below 1636, I will go for sell. Then we move to FCPO. Okay, FCPO apparently in the sideway, MACD and RSI both in neutral level and the uh, Bollinger Band moving in flat. Okay, so it's in the sideway between 1960 to 2115. Okay, so the average chart also showing the same in the sideway. So we will trade with, between this range first, 1960 to 2115. Okay, for my expectation, I think that the FCPO will go to test this support level first since the 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 bearish engulfing signal here okay then we move to us crude oil so us crude oil we can see here the mark the market start from declining break new low and then from a rebound around 38.2 fever retracement level here which also rsi oversaw so we can see now the crude oil in testing rebound so above 54 to 0.63, I will go for buy and lower low 50.60, I will go for sell. Okay, so I will just showing the same thing side way to uh, the testing rebound. So maintain these two trading signals. 
Okay, then we move to gold. Okay, gold is continue to break higher after the double bottom signal we discussed before. And then uh, since the first trading day, it continue to break higher highs and higher lows. So it's more to bullish. But watch out for the daily uh, the ISI in our board. So maybe trigger a technical correction in short term. So above 1352.7, I will go for buy. And then short term trend below 1324.7, I will go for sell. At last, Dow Jones. So Dow Jones, you can see here is same with the gold. Okay, breaking higher high and higher lows since the the first trading day. So it's more to bullish. Okay, we can see here the level is also 61.8 people retracement level here. Okay, so above 26085, I, I will go for buy. If we look at the shorter term trend, okay, as I be cautious of the RSI overbought technical correction but so far we don't have seen any uh, retracement wave yet so they have sell signal for now so the short term trend also stick to buy above 26085 so we do a summary here okay start with Malaysia market first so the FKLI is in testing rebound the short term trend is sideways to high here okay so I will buy above 1653 sell below 1636 for fcpl it is in a sideways to lower trend so we maintain range trading set up first 1960 to 215 us crude oil the long term chart uh, is showing a testing rebound trend okay so i will go buy above 54.63 okay and then the short the, the short term trend chart i will still I will go for buy above 554.63 and then sell below 50.660. For US gold, both daily and hourly chart show bullish, but there is a RSI very spread pattern there, so watch out for potential technical correction. Okay, higher high 1352.7, I will go for buy. 1324.7 break below, I will go for sell. At the last, down, mini Dow Jones. Okay, the daily chart is testing rebound and the hourly chart is more to bullish, but watch out for the ISI overbought. So both show the same, buy above 26085. Okay, so again, below this, uh, for any changes in our trading setup, okay, please follow our free channels, okay, like and share to let more people know. And then if you've got any questions, just PM us especially these three events. If you're interested in how to become a FCPL day trader, our free seminar just use three indicators to detect bull and bear market. And also if you want to learn how to trade FKR and FCPL daily, okay? So if you, uh, you can contact by our phone number 011-5353-7589 to know more details. So I see you guys next week. Thank you, bye bye.